Hi, and thanks for joining us for another Vast Fast Tip. My name is Dave, and I'll be showing you how to use the BCC Glint Filter inside of Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, the BCC Glint Filter is from the Boris FX Boris Continuum Complete line of filters, and uh, particularly within reference to using it with alpha channel transparent footage. So I'm going to start a new project. What you see here is the, the uh, finished proof of concept that I did for a friend, and you'll notice that the glints are showing off the diamonds and, and overlaying on top of the model, but the diamonds aren't, uh, aren't just like showing through or, or half transparent diamonds either. So uh, let's start with a new project here, and I'm going to jump into my Explorer and grab my BCC glint folder. We have the diamonds that I had on the background, and we have the model that I used, just a, a, a royalty-free footage or royalty-free image for the proof of concept. I'm going to quickly add the uh, motion on the diamonds here. And we're going to go ahead and just give a little bit slower motion to the rear diamonds and then a little bit faster motion to the front diamonds so that it you know, simulates depth a little bit better and just makes things... Uh, look a little bit nicer. So now I'm going to the front diamonds and I'm going to crop in or, or zoom in on the frame a little bit. I want to make sure that we see something pass in front of the model so that you know in the result that we are in fact doing it. So doing what I said. So we're going to move right here and then we're going to move here. And actually, we need to try and get that full motion in there to have the increased speed. Let's see how that looks here. Yep. Front diamonds are now falling faster than the, the uh, back diamonds are. So that's what we want. Now I need to add the glint filter. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the rear diamonds first. And I'm actually going to just jump into the effects here. And I have my preset effects saved. Um, so now I have my glints on the background. You notice no glints on the on the foreground as of as of right now, and then I go ahead back to the video effects and grab my diamond glints for the front, and when I do that, uh oh, everything disappears, and I ran into this and I was trying to figure out how I was able to to fix it. I could try setting the uh, the alpha channel um, to the source alpha. I tried you know I tried everything inside of here. Finally, I asked a good friend of mine. How, how to do it, and he said that's actually just a, a, a restriction within the tool. So I said, well, that can't be. I've got to figure out a way around that. And I started fiddling, and I, I of course, you know, there's the option to, uh, like, screen something over top, and, and that certainly works, except for the fact that uh, we have, if you see the diamonds here falling, you can see that they're, they're laying right on top of the girl, and you're getting skin through there, and it just, it doesn't quite, like, you don't see diamonds we've got lots of little facets and everything so you're not going to see directly behind what the what the diamond is so as this is falling I'm, I'm saying oh that's not going to look good so what I decided to do then was to go to uh, a little bit of a workaround I said okay I've got my motion I've got my diamonds falling I've got the glints I've got the glints showing up but I've got a problem with the see-through and it struck me to just go ahead and now we're going to duplicate the track and I'm going to uh, delete the effects off of the bottom track and set this to source alpha. Now my diamonds are my diamonds just as they were in their original uh, setting. And you can see that they are falling and you can see the diamond is its own diamond and the glints are falling off the diamond just as it should and everything works just great. So if you have alpha transparent footage and you're working inside of, or you're working with the, the BCC glint filter, or there's a few other filters that will uh, not be able to support alpha transparency and still apply their, their filter effect, this is a great workaround for you to be able to take the, the glints, get them to show up over the top of the model, or over the top of whatever you've got behind your alpha channel transparent image, and still be able to see everything and make it look just like you like. Be sure to check out our other video on demand training at our VOD channel on our website, as well as our free training on our YouTube channel. We have production and post-production training for all your various needs. So remember to learn it fast with Vast.